Hi, in this video I'm going to explain you how to install Proxmos server on a bare metal machine. First thing you need to connect your uh, flash drive to a computer. And uh, once you connect it, you hear a sound like beep and then make sure that your flash drive is connected. Then go to Proxmos.com and once you're in Proxmos.com click on download. And I'm going to select the ISO. And once you have selected, I'm going to click on download the ISO file and the download is started and next step is that you have to install our Rufus which will create a bootable which will help us create a bootable device go to the rufus.io.com I will leave the link in the description box below and once you have both Proxmos ISO and the uh, Rufus installed copy it on your desktop and double click on the Proxmos server and uh, once you click on double click make select the uh, flash tab what which you have connected and select your iso go to desktop and select your iso and click on ok and click on start and once you have click on start it will give you a prompt whether you want to you lose all the data and click ok make sure you have taken backup of everything what if there is anything important on your flash drive and uh, proceed further I have fast forwarded this part so that I'll make sure that you don't have to wait too long to see this process. Once this process is completed, click on close and then unplug your device. And yeah there we go you unplug your device and connect it to the on the bare metal machine which you want to install so in the here i'm gonna use a, a dell machine this is for a demo purpose connect the flash drive power on the your pc and keep on tapping f12 i'm using dell to go to one time boot menu i have to type f12 every manufacturer have its their own uh one time boot menu key so here, as you can see here, um, I'm going to select the UEFI, that's my pen drive boot device, the UEFI boot, it's a SanDisk device, I'll select that and press enter. Once you press enter, you see this is screen, this is a welcome to Proxmas virtual environment. Click on install and you'll see a window like this. This is where it loads all the drivers and everything. once this process is completed you see a, a, a page like this which says proxmos v installer you have agreement there and on the top on the bottom right you have agree you click on agree here you can select if you have, here you can select your drive and click next and here you can tree your time zone and your keyboard layout and then again click next so it will ask you to create your password create a password and type in your email address I'm gonna type my password and reconfirm it and the in yep in the email address um while I'm typing my email address, I just want to uh, let you know all guys that this is for a demo purpose. That's one of the reasons I'm using uh, a small machine. Like if you have a, a bigger machine, you can use that one as well. And every machine have its own bio settings and one time boot menu. You can refer their manufacturing website. And now it is asking me to name your name my uh, Proxmas server, I'm gonna name it as a PVE and jahmad.cloud. Uh, since it is local, I'm gonna go with the local and what IP address I would like to select. So I'm gonna select 10.10.0.12 uh, and I'm gonna leave all the settings as it is. That is my DNS server and I click on next. Once you have verified everything, click on next. This will start the installation process. Uh, depending on your hardware configuration and the what type of hardware you're using it's gonna it's take its own time I'm gonna again 
fast forward the installation for you guys and there we go doing its thing and now I think it is completed and then once you see this window then I would say like um, Okay, Poxbox installation is completed. If you see this window, which means we have uh, successfully installed the Poxbox, and then click on the reboot. It will do its stuff again, and it will restart automatically. This is the screen what you see on your monitor, and now it is restarting. Once it is restarted, you see a window like this. Press Enter or leave it as it is. It will by default go to a uh, Proxmo server it will put into a Proxmo server and it started loading its logical drive network and all the config what we have uh, selected during the time of installation and there we go now you see there is a, a, a URL there that's the IP address what we have set up during the installation I'm going to access the server on my web browser click on a new tab and then type in the the URL what you have selected during the installation process and the port we are using it's 8006 uh, and yep now make sure that not a HTTP it should be HTTPS press enter click on advance and then proceed further with answer type in the user ID with the root and your password and login now you have successfully logged into our Proxima server and that's all for today and I would say like yeah this is my Proxima server and thank you for watching.